if the Gita is there, focus only on Gita. All else is just stories. Gita is not a story. Gita is a philosophical document of the highest order. It is not storytelling. His question is, in the childhood, all of us were told a lot of things which were indeed useful. <coughs> now what was that all about? What was that all about? First of all, understand that this brain that we talked of as a product of evolution, this brain itself is the seat of intelligence. Unless the brain is ripe enough, there won't be the action of intelligence. And the human brain is not ripe enough till the age of 10, 12 or 14. A kid cannot understand on its own. <coughs> six months old, two years old, six years old. He will have to be helped. He will have to be dependent on others. He can't do anything else. The brain, the cells have yet not grown. So it's all right if the kid is given information. In fact, you know, someone has beautifully said that to be born is ego. Because when you will be born, you will be small, necessarily small. And when you are small, then you have to take things from the outside. And that itself is what is ego. That itself is dependency. So it's all right in the case of the kid. That in this age, we consult our parents. Yes, uh, yes. Parents. yes. So because we do not know about that. Right? Yes, yes. So that's also helping. Right. Why do we take it as external right. help? Because <laughs> Once you have crossed that particular age when the mind ripens, then it's your obligation to act intelligently. You were helpless and dependent and six months old at a time. You aren't six months old right now. Why must you behave like a six month old today? There is a point when you must get up and walk on your feet. And by your feet, I mean your intelligence. It's alright to just take a few things when you are a small one. But not today, not today, not at all today. Hmm? Then there is the question, the larger question about ethics. That so many good things were told to me. Don't hit someone, don't do this, don't do that. I ask you, is there anyone here who was not taught good things? Is there anyone in the entire world who was not taught a few good things when he was a kid? Parents tell you, don't steal, don't lie, be respectful to elders. And that's what parents since ages all around the world have been telling their kids. But the world is still full of rapists and violent people and liars and why is that so? In spite of being told, why is that so? Because you have just been told that. It has not come to you from your own understanding. And hence, it never translates fully into your life. And you know, certain kids, they are sharp. They turn around and they ask, Daddy, why must I not steal? Or why must I not lie? And daddy usually has no answer to give because daddy himself has been just handed over these things from his own daddy. <laughs> daddy never discovered these truths on his own. Daddy read it from some religious scripture or heard it from some family member or got it from the society. Hence these remain just empty preachings. And who likes to be preached? They remain empty code of ethics. And the world remains violent. The world remains destructive. Greedy, ambitious, loveless. Bored and frustrated, dull. Divided, quarreling. 
and every kid is being told, be good, do good, speak the truth. Because what comes to you from outside will only cause conflict. It can never really show you the way. Do you understand this now? Yes? Sir, you are saying that I was not, my brain was not trying by that time. Then where did that feeling come that I should hit someone? That I should? That I should hit someone. Oh, social conditioning. Physical conditioning. You see, he is asking that why are even small kids so violent? That is because it is contained in your physical conditioning, your DNA. Your DNA. Your DNA is a product of evolution. You are a single celled animal once. Then you are a small organism. Then you are a larger organism. Then as Darwin has told us, we were monkeys once. And all those animal instincts are contained in our basic physical structure. That violence is there even in the child. Children can be very violent, small kids. That animal instinct is very much there in you. That's a part of conditioning. We said conditioning comes to us from two sources, physical and social. 